Lying is the intersection between your teen's brain need for novelty, adventure, and risk-taking behavior, and their equal need for your love and approval for primal safety and protection. If you've caught your teen lying, you have not morally failed as a parent and your teenager is not a broken or bad apple. 96% of teens studied say they've lied to their parents and the other 4% probably lied about not lying. Teens are more likely to lie when they feel like the curiosity or the adventure and newness that they're about to take part in are against your values, beliefs, and opinions. And so in order for self-preservation, so they maintain your love and approval, they lie about what they're gonna go do. And because the teen brain is so sensitive to judgment, criticism, they are avoiding you coming down on them or you know, the punishment that might go with the lie. And that in itself becomes a problem because the more you punish lying, the more deceptive, sneaky behavior you're gonna get. Instead, get curious about the emotional experience they're trying to create. What is the need or the taboo topic that perhaps they don't feel safe talking to you about so that you can have the conversation or maybe even go try a version of what it is they're talking about so they don't have to lie about it anymore? What if you told your teenager about when you tried these things or about when you lied and what happened and what did you learn? What did you wish you had known? Developing meaningful conversations and emotional safety around taboo topics and being consistently curious about what your teenager is thinking about, what their friends might be doing without judgment or criticism or condemnation or shaming is one of the best ways to keep lying at bay.